You probably heard about the Turing test this week and how a computer passed it, but what is the Turing test and why is this important? Howdy folks, Trace here for DNews with exciting news from the world of mathematics and supercomputing. I know you were just waiting for this. Alan Turing was an English mathematician who specialized in code breaking during World War II. In the 1950s, he wrote a paper that began, can machines think? This philosophical question had plagued big thinkers for centuries. How can we know if another person is thinking? And he took it one step further and asked it about a machine. How can we know? To try and solve the problem, he created the Turing test. The Turing test rules say human judges should use a terminal to type messages back and forth with a participant on the other end. Some of the mysterious chatter participants are people, and one is a computer. The judges have five minutes to talk to each, and at the end they guess which are human and which is computer. If they believe that the computer is a human, more than 30% of the time, the computer passes the Turing test. That is reportedly what happened at the University of Reading in the UK this weekend. Eugene Guzman convinced the judges 33% of the time and allegedly became the first to pass. I say allegedly because some experts are calling the validity of these results into question. I feel a little wary because Eugene convinced the judges that it was a 13-year-old Ukrainian boy speaking English as a second language, which allowed for more mistakes to be forgiven. But really, a wolf in sheep's clothing is still a wolf, right? So now what? A five minute conversation is kind of paltry, right? There are tougher competitions out there. In 1990, the Loebner Prize was created where the judges get 25 minutes for each conversation. Then in 2001, futurist Ray Kurzweil set up the Long Now Turing Test Wager, which lets three judges interview each of the chatters for two hours. That's a lot. Kurzweil, who is amazingly accurate at predicting technological advancement, believes that a computer may be able to pass his test by 2029. You're probably wondering what this means for us lowly humans, right? Well, it's not the end of the world. Sure, this is a fantastic step in the creation of chatbots and textual artificial intelligences, but it's not a Jarvis, it's not Hal, it's a chatbot. If you think about it, my early 2000s AOL instant messenger friend Smarter Child and tweeting, web chatting, clever bot are really just simpler versions of Eugene Gooseman. Eugene was designed by a team of computer engineers and one of them told the British newspaper The Telegraph that he hopes that this will help people understand how chatbots can be very sophisticated. It was programmed with scripted responses by humans to try and convince other humans that it was one of us. One of us, one of us. Artificial intelligence won't be killing you anytime soon, but imagine if a chatbot could imitate your mom or your friend and get you to give up your passwords, your identity information, or whatever. It might steal your credit card and go for a shopping spree, probably to Comp USA, because, you know, Eugene's like a 13-year-old boy, so we know he's only got one thing on his mind, a friend with a nice case and big fans. So what do you think of the Turing test? Are you worried? You think you could pick a computer out of the pack? We put the link to Eugene online in the description below. Tell us how you do. Subscribe for more DNews. And come follow me on Twitter at Trace Dominguez. I'm not a bot, I swear.